Okay, guys, I got 3D Gaussians for real-time radiance field rendering here. And uh, this this is, this is my first data set where I use my own data. Um, I think about an hour to train this data to the like full 30,000 iterations. But my goodness, the quality is insane compared to anything else I've gotten in with nerfs, to be honest. I even did the same data set, which I'll show in a different video comparison or a different article, I showed this against uh, the Nerfactual big model and it was uh, not, not it's not even close. So um, the weird thing about this, using this, this, this Gaussian GUI is that like, it's like a two handed move around. So I like my WASD is like backwards, forwards, left, right. But then it's like what, uh, I, k to pitch and h and l to to, to rotate so it's kind of like this two-handed thing uh to move around but here i'm just looking around at these i'm getting these wires this was a data set that was captured and i get off uh off there it was captured with uh mavic 3 enterprise in a helix pattern so it was actually not the like dentist scan of this this tower but just what I'm getting graphically is insane. I could never build this whole scene um, if I was trying to do it using like traditional three methods of photogrammetry. It would not look this good. You got all these like little pegs. I haven't got this little cable. All those things in photogrammetry would be gone. Um, I'm just going to switch my view. Uh, I do better with this trackball. It's kind of like your drag around. Um, still sometimes hard to like rotate. But uh, what caught my eye is. Um, guy I was with was just sitting against his van on his phone. I mean, flying the drone. Look at that. I mean, he's there and he's like not just blurry mush. Uh, the background looks amazing. Um, whoa, I don't know what's happening here. The background looks really good. Um, all the trees. Um, I have a different one where the camera's oriented more horizontally. This one, it was pitched down about like this orientation as it flew in a helix pattern, like a spiral up. But you can see, like, I have some ground control markers that are, um, you know, depends. I was nowhere near this viewpoint looking at these. But they still turn out okay. Um, this looks awesome. If I wanted to recreate this for, like, a, a virtual fly around, be able to, I don't know, query assets and stuff, this is really cool. So, like, I never saw this view down here. So things get this kind of interesting ghostly look. But that's to be expected. You can't just make up perfect data when you never saw it. But, um just this compound look at this thing i mean i was not even close to the ground when we flew this drone and we were picking up like the 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 these guards just awesome i didn't even know that wood was up there when we were first at at this um and getting the wires again i didn't get like the best views of the wires from the drone but you can still follow like look at individual wires a lot of that detail is just like blur with instant ngp and refacto and luma and all that um, this is nuts. This is like awesome. Oh, and may I point out that this is running at, uh, 60 frames per second. I think I can uncap it. I mean, that's what my monitor maxes out at is 60 FPS. So I'm sure it can go higher. Um, and it can play around with some things. I haven't really had time to explore the GUI again. I don't have time to work on this until the weekend, but I look forward to it. Here's your splats of full size, but you can like pull down the splats and look at the key points that were um, pulled out or the splats as they get small. Um, I'm still trying to wrap my head around how this all works. Um, the ellipsoids might crash it, but here's the initial points as well. So again, this is like your sparse point cloud from coal map, which I love. Everything still has some structure from motion as a base component. Um, but if I go back to splats, it just fills it all in. So like not too much to show here, except for I know it works and I was excited because this weekend I was going to steal a little bit of time away from the family to do like a, here's how to do this. This was like, I don't know, I think two, uh, 300 photos or so. And they were all 20 megapixels. And so you had to down sample it down to about one six, 1.6 1 um, megapixel per image, but that's fine. Um, you could go with bigger. I don't know if I'd wrote it, ran out of Ram or not, but, uh, the quality on this is just insane. Look forward to you guys' uh, feedback on this and uh, thoughts out to Hawaii.